Hey guys, how you doing? Rich here. Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining me and I uh, hope you're all well. Um, so what I'm going to do today is give you a bit of a rundown of the mic tripod from Three-Legged Thing. Um, I've had this bit of kit for a few months now. I'm going to show you um, what you get, um, how I've been using it, uh, the different applications for it. Um, and if you're in the market for a new tripod, this could just be the one for you. So uh, without further ado, let's take a look. So first off, um, the tripod comes in this uh, this canvas bag. Um, it's a pretty hard wearing, uh, you know, bit of kit. It's not like some of the other um, tripod bags I've had, um, which are, you know, basically just those cloth bags that really are absolutely useless. Um, but this is, um, you know, pretty, it's made of that sort of Cordura um, material. The tripod comes with um, three legs, which is uh, really handy as it's a tripod. Um, and I mean, it's just incredibly well made. Um, the legs are carbon fiber, um, as you'd expect, but I mean, it's super lightweight. Um, it really is. And um, the, uh, you know, the head here, uh, it's the engineering on it is just absolutely fantastic. I um, mean, it's a superb bit of kit. Okay, so first off, um, you know, you can take um, all, three, all three legs off. Um, I'll explain in a second why that's important. Okay, but all three uh, come off there and then you're left with the head. So one of the reasons why I um, wanted to buy this tripod or why I was in the market for a second tripod um, is that I wanted um, a, uh, a balancing um, a head or you know a le leveling head rather. Um, and uh, you know, this tripod um, has that. Now, the way that you use that, um, you've got a little lever or a little arm here um, on the side. Um, but also you've got this um, kind of screw underneath and what you basically do that um, it kind of changes the uh, the friction of the um, or the you know the resistance of the balancing head so at the moment it's done up tight okay and even with this being loose you know I can't actually change um, the uh, the position of that head so that's completely locked in but basically if I unscrew that you can see now I can uh, you know, kind of move that pretty freely. Um, when I get it into position, I lock it into position um, with that uh, side there. So again, that's now not going anywhere. If I need to change it, I just undo that, and then um, I can, uh, you know, I can level it. So depending on what uh, you know my requirements are at any particular time, it's really super easy to actually, um, you know, get your uh, get your camera level. So um, that's the uh, that's the head. You've got the um, spirit level um, indicator on uh, on top there, which is uh, which is super useful. I'll come back to this in a second. Um, but uh, yeah, with the um, the detachable legs, um, these are great because what you uh, basically now have um, is uh, a monopod. Um, and I've been using this, um, you know, a hell of a lot. I didn't have a monopod previously. I'd never used one, um, but it was something that, you know, kind of appealed to me and, and, and it's become really, really useful. But the, uh, the O-rings on the side here, um, these are fantastic. Really uh, sort of comfortable in the hand, really easy to use um, for extending, um, you know, the, uh, or, or adjusting the, the height um of the uh, of the leg there so um yeah you know they lock into place really really easily um haven't come loose you know at all it's 
you know, kind of really, really sturdy there. So uh, that's great. And yeah, with this, I've been um, putting my Wimberley uh, sidekick on top um, of my my Benray ball, uh, B2 ball head. And um, so that's how I've been using this as a uh, as a monopod. Um, there is a different um, you know, kind of application for this pole. And um, so I've also been using it as a sound boom. And um, so I put my uh, my um, you know my mic um, on top. Um, and I also put a little uh, attachment on the side here, um, which I attach my um, Zoom H6 uh, recorder to. So again, you know, that gives you a really versatile, extendable sound boom. Um, so, you know, that's proved to be really useful. OK, so coming on to um, accessories, the ones that I have bought, which are really, really superb, um, are these here. Now, um, these legs um, are the, uh, they're called the Vans. And they're about 60, 65 quid um, from three-legged thing. Um, and these are absolutely awesome. This is where this, this bit of kit starts getting really versatile. So um, I'll just show you quickly. I mean, they're really nice to handle. I mean, the engineering on it is absolutely superb. Um, these feet uh, also come off. So you've got the uh, the spiked foot there. Uh, but these are really, really hard, um, hard rubber. Okay, and they screw on and, you know, those are firmly in those you know, those are not falling off and um, the way you would uh, kind of use these is that once you've taken the uh, the legs off and you're left with the head you can actually screw these legs into the head like that okay and what you're basically now left with is a really versatile mini tripod um, so the way i've been using this um, is as a uh, a macro um, tripod uh, so you know i've had my z6 and my uh, my sigma 50 mil on top of this um, to film uh, you know kind of the macro shots um, so insect photography um, getting some of those nice shots when you you're kind of deep in the uh, in 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 the bushes or in the you know sort of wheat fields or whatever it may be, kind of looking up, you can actually you know place this into the crops and get some really fantastic shots which you wouldn't um, you know be able to do otherwise with a um, you know with a normal tripod. Another way of of using this, which is really cool, um, if you are using uh, you know one of the legs as a monopod, is that you can take off um, the foot from that particular pole and screw that onto there and you know you've got a really stable base for your uh, for your monopod now as you can see from the video here um, that I shot up on Dartmoor uh, you know it was a really blustery windy day um, and I had my d500 and my um, you know 150 to 600 mil um, you know on top of this um, and it was really you know really stable i was able to you know kind of walk away from it um with uh, you know without any worries about it falling over not something i would necessarily suggest you, know, you want to do as a matter of course but um you know I, I did it just for demonstration purposes really so yeah super you know super additional um you know bit of kit these accessories are, are definitely worth buying um you know they're, they're, they're really cool okay so in terms of um you know being able to change the spread uh, of the legs. You've got these really simple to use um, little clips here. You can, you can see, uh, you know, you can change the legs to whatever kind of spread um, you need for the different, um, you know, terrain you might be on. Um, gives you an you know, incredibly solid base. It's, it's, it's going to take whatever, whatever weight of kit, um, you know, you have. I, I use this quite often with my, um, you know, my Manfrotto video head um, and my, uh, you know, 150 to 600 and it's um you know as, as you'd expect just handles it with, with no problem at all okay another little accessory you get with the tripod um is this uh, this fella here now when i first got it i thought what on earth am i going to uh, use that for it's you know it's just a bit of cheap plastic um you know but it's got an allen key on one side and it's got this other you know little um little metal uh attachment i didn't even know what you'd call it to be perfectly honest metal thing um on the side here um 
and it's the most <laughs> useful accessory I have in my bag, I think. So, um, you know, what this is uh, really useful for is um, putting into these um, thread adapters and using that to actually, uh, you know, kind of do up and undo things. Um, I've uh, I've used it to take off my uh, my you know my Zelda um, L bracket from my Z6, um, you know, and also the um, the little uh, sort of hex key here. What this is really useful for is um, doing up the um, you know the tightness um, of the legs here, and you know they do they do come loose. Um, I'm not going to lie. Um, you know, it's, is it a complaint? No, not 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 really. I think they've you know they've obviously thought about it and they're obviously aware of it, which is why they give you this um, this accessory. But you know, ultimately, if you're using this all the time, these legs um, you know can be, uh, become a little bit loose. I've never come you know even remotely close to actually losing um, one of the bolts in here. But you simply just use that to you know to tighten them up. Um, and the other way that you can. Uh, use that um, that clip is um, putting it on the bottom um, of there and then you can hang a bag um, or you know kind of hang a weight or whatever you want to um, on the bottom here for um, you know for really windy conditions if you want, just want to give you a uh, give your tripod a bit more a uh, bit more stability um, but yeah super you know really really awesome little uh, little accessory so yeah that's um you know that that's the tripod um you know a tripod's a tripod right except when um you know you can use it for a lot more than being a tripod so um if you're in the market for a, for a new tripod i would you know kind of highly recommend this one um it's uh you know hopefully as i've demonstrated it it's more than just a tripod um you know you get a lot more uh you know kind of versatility and, and you know a lot more ways of using it once you start adding accessories to it as well but even even if you didn't buy those um those accessories you know just use it as a tripod um it's a fantastic bit of kit so um i hope you found that interesting um and useful uh, if you've got any questions you know at all please uh, feel free to uh, you know kind of leave them in the comments um and uh, i'll be coming back with some more uh, product reviews um so you know check out the channel subscribe um hit like and uh, yeah thanks for joining me and see you soon all right take care guys